so glad to be with you. This is the AIT News. In February, Central Bureau of Statistics reveals the number of unemployed people across the country increased slightly into 6.8 million, although this is not of COVID-19. COVID-19 has involved some workers lost their job. Businesses have shut down factories and preloved or let out their employees as a result of low demand and the call for social distancing. Yet recently, workplaces have been worse clusters that are too risk for workers of infection. Furthermore, 13 million tourism workers are unemployed in Indonesia due to the pandemic, according to Chief of Presidential Staff Muldoko. Since hotels, villas, cafes and restaurants don't have enough clients to operate the business. In addition, people who work indirectly with tourism from money changers, artists and decisions who could face a well shortage amounts to 2.5 million people. According to Muldoko, if this situation doesn't change, another 15 million people could be unemployed before the end of the year. When Power Ministry data show for 7 April 2020, over 1.2 million workers from 74,400 companies for the formal and informal sectors have either been told to stay home or have been let out as a result of the pandemic. The National Development Planning Agency Minister Suharza Mono Arka said that the number of unemployed could reach 10.7 until 12.7 million people by 2021. So that the open unemployment rate currently at 4.2% will increase into 9.2% this year. The economist from the Institute of Development of Economics and Finance Index, Bima Yudhi Stewart said, the love and let up had a big impact for the Indonesian economy. Bima stated the condition would be worse in the second semester. If it not, then poverty rate will increase significantly. Then economic growth can plummet. According to him, the provision of social assistance provided by the government on a regular basis during corona pandemic was also considered ineffective. Consequently, there are still many people supposed to get social assistance with no income, while the supervision is still weak. The government has provided targeted beneficiaries with conditional cash transfer, stable trade program, national health insurance program, and village cash transfer, and also to waiving the minimum electricity bills. Unemployment is closely related to poverty. The interest in unemployment will cause a rise in the poverty rate. According to Central Bureau of Statistics, between September 2019 and March 2020, poverty rate stood at 9.8% of the population, or about 26.4 million people. Lucy Abdullah, research economy from INDEF, has predicted that Indonesia economy may rise 10.3% in September in the wake of the COVID-19. He predicted that the rate could increase by 0.6%. 5-6% or about 1.6 million people. The impact is expected to be well in 2021. The government has targeted poverty at 9.2% but it considered to be weak. I have said the 9.2% target is more realistic. While Ministry of Finance Sri Mulyani said during March until May period there is a surge in the poverty rate. Now poverty has reached the same level as in 2011. That is, all the work done over the past 10 years to offset poverty is quickly resulting from the recent pandemic outbreak by a virus. That's the ID news for today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'm Bibani Aulia and goodbye.